So right after the H2 uh, header here, that's where we want to display the errors, the validation errors. Okay, so let's do echo return validation. I'll return the login error. Okay, so now we have to create this function inside of our functions.php. So let's head over there and then um, let's do that. So we do function return login error. And this function won't take any parameter since the errors are being stored in the get um let me show you in a moment since the errors here are being stored in a get parameter which has a key of error now we can just um, since that is global we can just grab that from that um parameter there okay so let's say error string equal to empty so first let's say if is set dollar underscore get error if the error parameter is set first we're gonna have to check if it is an array so let's say if is array dollar underscore get error so first we check if it is set next we check if it is array then we're gonna loop um, over it so let's say for each dollar underscore get error as error we want to append to this error string here so we're going to say error string equal to error string dot and we're going to append a p tag there so the p tag will have inside it a span which we're going to class um, start with bootstrap so let's close the p tags as well okay so inside the span here let's add a class to the span let's give it a class of label and label danger so that it is red and shows that um, there's an error there okay so let's open and close our curly brackets there and then output the error itself there okay so next let's um do a check here since we're checking if this error um, parameter in the get global uh, variable there is set and then if it's an array since we can either pass it an array or just a simple string okay so let's check the scenario wherein it is not an array what we want to do is we want to say error equals to dollar underscore get we want to get that um, property there since it's not an array and then we just want to say error string equal to so let's just copy all of this just close this semicolon here so error string equal to um, error just plain we're not looping over um, that get variable any time here okay just setting it normally so last but not the least let's return the error string to our login page here since we're calling it index um, here let's return it so that it's being displayed so now we're gonna have a p tag inside of this div here we just displays the error okay so let's go to our um, page here I'll go back here and then I'll just leave password as empty. When I click on login, it says username or password is invalid. So it means that it's um, trying to log us in before doing validation. So let's see the order in which we are processing these validation here. Okay. So see validate login. So what I'm going to do is since we do have the validation at the top here, it means that this is failing. It means that um, it is not validating properly so let's do a vadom of validation and then let's exit okay so i'll come here and i'll just submit this form remember since the password cannot be empty that's why i'm leaving the username as a uh, proper so i'll just log in here so it is returning bool true password cannot be empty Okay, so it's supposed to return false here in the first element so let's go to our function.php here so let's see if count errors is not equal to zero so let's do a log here to say a set of details input so let's do var dump is set okay just to check that um, these uh, properties here are not set okay so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna refresh this 
continue true true okay so it means that um it is set actually for both the username and the password so let me check string length of this trim um, properties here so let's check the string length of the trim version of those inputs okay so i'm gonna refresh again it says syntax error if on line 48 okay semicolon I forgot that so refresh okay so bool true true so definitely something is not right so i'll just pause the video here and then i'll um, debug that and resume when i found the issue okay okay so apparently i forgot to do a return here so if count of errors is not equal to zero that is errors have been set we need to return um the, uh, this array here so that we do not return true so what's happening here this if statement here is becoming true but when we come inside here we just um writing out this array which doesn't do anything okay and then it's just falling over and coming to this return so it has to just return here and then this will not run okay so let's go back to our browser now I'll go back to the home page here so now let's remove this um, exit statement here so I'll just um, submit the form in, um, just with this password field empty and then as you can see password cannot be empty so I'll submit with username and password empty as it says password cannot be empty username cannot be empty so let's um, submit a list of characters in the username field here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press space many times and then login. So even though we've submitted that, it is still saying username cannot be empty. So that means validation is working properly. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this um, video where we validated our login form. And I'll see you in the next video. And if these videos are helpful and you like them, please comment or subscribe on the, my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.